What's up everybody, welcome back. So today, we're gonna open up this bad boy. <clears throat> Take a look at what's inside here. So this is the Baldwin Motion Drag Cobra, okay? Um, so this is, the, this is modeled after a real car. Uh, however, this is not um, one of the eight Shelby Dragon Snakes. This is um, this car was produced. It was a, a just a plain old, plain old <laughs> 427 Street Cobra. Um, it was CSX 3159 was the number that it was given at Shelby. Uh, just a standard Cobra. Somebody bought it specifically to drag race. Um, the owner of the car brought it to um, Baldwin Motion at the well, I don't even know. It might not have been Baldwin Motion at that point. I think it was, though. Um, they messed around with some Fords early on. And um, so what Motion did was they tuned the car, um, had the 427. Uh, Motion did the headers that were on it, um, re-geared it, did some drag racing suspension on the car uh, so that the owner could go drag racing with it. And this is kind of funny. Um, this car held, uh, multiple NHRA records, um, when it was run in the stock class. I think the fastest it went was like a 1030, uh, but it also held a NASCAR drag racing national record. Yes, NASCAR sanctioned drag racing in the 60s. Uh, so it held one of those records too. So... What I want to do is I've, I've, been, I've been looking for this kit um, for a long time and I got my hands on it and I'm gonna, we're going to open it up and take a look at um, what's inside the box. And this is going to be built, um, this will be built this year. I've got a list of stuff. This is, this is getting put on the list um, as well as a couple of kits that I just got my hands on that I haven't done uh, a video on yet but is coming very soon so let's uh let's flip the camera around and we'll take a look at what's inside this box give me a minute all right guys here we are so let's crack this baby open and uh see what's inside so there's a little somewhere on the corner of this and noticed there was a tear there it is so let's plastic off this sucker. All right, here we go. So we got pictures of the actual model, which is pretty neat. Um, a little bit of a, a little bit of history on it. Tells you about Baldwin Motion, uh, headed by Joel Rosen in 1966. Um, pretty cool. So let's, let's see what's in here. Is this a... This is obviously the first time I'm opening that. It's one of these weird boxes. Okay. There we go. So, let's take all this stuff out. Glass floating around inside here um, is pretty beat up, honestly. But I should be able to get the scratches out of that at the side windows because remember it did have the hard top on it back window vent windows pretty cool just needs to be cleaned up a little bit um, here are the tires you get you get a fairly stiff um, drag slick it does say good year on the side of them so that's pretty cool uh, a little bit of cleaning up that'll be all right here are your front tires. Again, pretty stiff. Um, these ones are no-name tires. 
there they are. Um, decals, this is, uh, <clears throat> they look pretty good. It's a little yellow. I might have to try the old set them in the sun trick. See if I can get them to work, but they look pretty good. Not too bad. Got our new releases for 2000. <laughs> I love looking at these things. Oh, I love looking at these things. Man, some cool kits. Look at all those kits you could get in 2019, uh, in the year 2000. That is pretty sweet. I'll have to look at that later. But yeah, very cool. Let's get the box out of the way. Directions. These are going to be your typical Revell directions, I'm sure, which are always really good. Gives you a nice... Oops, sorry guys. I just bumped my head on the camera. Nice little bit of history on the car. Gives you your typical your paint colors. Um... Nice clear instructions. Like I said, we've we've seen a million Ravel instruction sheets, and they're always really good. So that's cool. Interior going together. Um, putting the interior in. I thought the this had a special roll bar. I could be wrong, but I thought I had a special roll bar. We'll see when we get in there. Well, there's a there's a roll bar, but I don't know if it's like special or not. Um, pretty cool. Shows you how to do the exhaust, the side pipes. A um, little bit of history. Um, this Cobra comes, instead of with the side pipes, it comes with the exhaust that goes all the way out the back. That was because it competed, I believe what I... What I read was it was the car competed in the stock uh, stock eliminator class, so it had to have an exhaust system that exited the back of the car. Um, even though it's got the side pipes with the cutouts, exhaust had to be there apparently. And it shows you the putting the hard top on. Um, I guess another little bit of history on this. The car is black with a gold top. That's because somebody had a gold top. And you had to have a hard top and windows to uh, drag race the car. So they got a gold top off of a gold Cobra that went on to it. And uh, that's how they went drag racing with this car. So there's that. Let's see what we got. Chrome trees first. So... There's the chrome trees. Those wheels are really cool. Those would have to be stripped uh, because the car, real car had magnesium uh, Hildebrands on it. There's, a, there's your roll bar. There's an intake mat, single carburetor intake manifold, which I don't think is correct. No, oh, there's the so some nice valve covers. Um, chrome is in pretty nice shape. That looks good. Is the other chrome tree with the dual quad um, manifold, which is correct. You got your very nicely detailed. I love those carburetors that came in these kits. Those are so nice. Um, get your steering wheel. There's your uh, dry sump oil pan, miscellaneous engine parts, um, pedals, shifters, all kinds of cool stuff. Gas cap. Side pipes, air cleaners, uh, the front bumper at thing. Very cool. Very nice. All right, let's open up this bag of goodies. We'll save that for last. All right, so first tree that I grab. Uh, has your custom race headers, which were installed from Motion, I think this is, yeah, Motion installed the headers. Those are the exits. I'll have to 
look closer. There's your there's your special roll bar right there. Um, your exhaust system, seats, distributor, rear axle center section, water pump, dashboard. Um, cool stuff. Radiator. So there's that tree right there. Next tree is your chassis, your motor halves, suspension parts, rear end parts, radiator stuff. That piece is getting ready to break off the tree, so we'll be careful with that. So there's your, there's that tree right there. The last tree, there's not many parts in this kit, guys. There's your last tree. Um, get your interior tub, your firewall, your wheel back, cylinder heads, hood, another dashboard. Um, this is kind of cool. This is a uh, like a cover that would have been on a topless Cobra. I, I mean, that's pretty neat. I wonder what... The difference, let's look at something here. Let's take this tree back and compare dashboards. So, you got two dashboards there. It's going to be hard to see, but there's the two dashboards. Um, obviously different. So I'm thinking this is the drag racing dashboard. Because if I think I remember in the other... I watched a video um, highlighting this real car, and I thought it had five small round gauges in the center of the dash. I'll have to go back and look, but I'm pretty sure that's your racing, that's your drag racing dashboard. So, again, guys, not many parts in this kit. Going to be pretty simple. Here's your body. Very cool. Very nice. It's got some parting lines right there on the top. You gotta sand out those. Um, a little bit on the front. Around the back. You can see them. You can see the prominent one right there. That's gonna be taken care of. Otherwise, very cool. Nice and that's gonna be a cool build. I really like that. All right, guys. Oh, tail lights. Oh, tail lights. Pretty nice. All right, so that's it. Uh, give me one second to flip this camera back around, and we'll say goodbye. Okay, guys, there you have it. Uh, that's what's inside that kit. Um, like I said, it's it's a fairly low part count kit. Um, it looks like it's going to go together really well. Let's see if I can find on the box here how many parts uh, there are in this kit. I thought it said somewhere on here. It's 124 scale, by the way. Um, it doesn't say. It says it, I thought it did somewhere on these. Uh, I it's low anyway, so it should be a quick and easy build. Um, it should detail up really nice. Uh, my only question, um, I'm a little worried that I might have some trouble with those decals. Um, I just realized that my lights are all messed up here. Um, there it is. Let there be light. So, um, well, like I said, the only thing I'm concerned with is those decals are kind of yellow. Uh, so I'm going to try the old set them in the windowsill in the sun trick and see if that helps bleach them out a little bit. Um, but they're in good condition. So I'm hoping that, you know, with a little bit of love, they'll go on pretty nice. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's it for that. Like I said, this is going to get put into the build rotation. Um, there's a couple other uh, built models that I want to put into the rotation, too, that I just got. Um, so... Uh, the next video is probably going to be, um, I'm going to show you those model kits. 
and I have a little bit of progress on the plow truck that I'd like to show you guys. Um, but I'm not going to do it now. This is approaching a pretty long video, so we're going to wrap this one up. Um, thank you for watching, as always. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, um, hit the button. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, I want to say thank you to Mark at Hobby Nut Models. That's where I got this kit. Um, I couldn't have been happier to find this. I really, there are certain kits that I, I really want to, I really want to find, and this was one of them, and he had it. So go check out his website. It's linked in the description of every video. Um, click on the link, it'll bring you right to um, Hobby Nut Models' website, and you can start shopping from there. Uh, as always, uh, check out Ryan's channel, 603 Model Works. Uh, go over there and give him some love. Um, and I guess, I guess that's it for now. So, uh, next video is going to be mail call and some progress. And, uh, I can't wait to, uh, to show you guys what's cooking. So, thanks again. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you again really soon. Bye.